uh, in this session we are going to discuss some grammatical uh, trivias that uh, will be helpful for your understanding of the subject and especially uh, in your near future while you're going to appear in various competitive examinations those things will be very crucial for your understanding of english language so uh, let's have a grammatical trivia to begin with let's uh, discuss uh, a sentence correction question what you will be asked to do here is that one sentence will be given to you for example for example the number of say part 1 the number of coaching centers are part 2 increasing in guwahati increasing in guwahati that is part 3 and you have got one more additional part which says that there is no error that should be part Four. So, what <coughs> this sentence has done is that the particular sentence has been divided into four parts. At a sentence of Sarita Bhagavad Bhakkara, so don't say three, there are four. Equally important is the part which says no error. Yare kunba at a part of grammatical error thakibo pare ba na thakibo pare. Judi na thake, amar answer to say, amagiate answer to MCQ based on goisu. Answer should be say either one. 2, 3 or 4. Out of these 4 options, 1 is your answer. So, how to approach a sentence like that? In what is sentence? So, I will approach Are you worried about your class 10 final board examinations? Download the all new Eduit mobile app. We bring to you the best content of the core subjects by the best educators in a gamified manner. Unlimited practice tests, AI based analytics of your progress previous year's solve question papers and a lot more. And here's the interesting part. If you download our application right now, you'll enjoy a free 14 days trial period. So what are you waiting for? Get your Edwin mobile application right now. Now reading the sentence again, let's read it. The number of coaching centers are increasing in Guwahati. So as far as the peripheral study is concerned, if we read it, Upura Upura Kejuri Amyar Puri Sao sentence to the coaching centers, coaching centers implying how many sub subject is in which form? Subject is in plural form. Atatke? Basic subject of what I so coaching center, so tar logot bar present tense are a hobolage. So it seems the sentence is perfectly all right as it says coaching centers are increasing in Guwahati. But there is a problem, friends. There is a problem in the sense the sentence says, Is the writer only talking about coaching centers are increasing? or he or she is focusing on one particular aspect of this very coaching center. Teo kol koi se ki coaching centers bari koi se? Ne, teo coaching centers or kiba eta aspect or vikhe kotha pati se which is the number. He, the writer is not talking about uh, infrastructure, faculty profile, study materials, result and the other aspects. The writer is primarily dealing with the aspect which says the number. The writer is purely concentrating on a singular subject. So the subject of this very sentence here, the subject of this very sentence here is in which form? the subject is very much in singular form. Now, it is very natural the Jodi sentence or subject at a singular form of hoy. So, it is obvious that the verb must also be, the verb must also be in singular form. As you all know, there has to be an agreement between the subject and the verb within a sentence. Subject or verb or mother that agreement thoka to very essential. For example, jodi moeta sentence likhi diuyate, like they is coming, 
day is coming you will surely point out this is an incorrect sentence kar day logo is kene ke tell koribo day subject is in plural form whereas is denoting a singular number of verb so this is an incorrect sentence no janu thik tene ke ei sentence today enuka thonor eta violation hoyse tomaloke mon kora the number of the number of denoting singular subject hence it has to be followed by a hence it has to be followed by a singular verb yate r hobo noare it has to be corrected as it has to be corrected as is okon man confused hobo paru ami ako ebar sai loisu coaching centers amar subject no hoy the subject of the sentence is not coaching centers the subject of the sentence is number hence the verb in a sentence will tell you will agree to the to the subject of that very sentence which is singular so it has to be followed by uh, singular verb so here our answer to 1 no hoy 3 no hoy 4 no hoy hence it is the second option ami second part to correct korisu karne answer to amar 2 hoyse so enuka thonor problem ok ami ko so this kind of problems are put under the heading called subject and verb agreement so a sent ami je ematro ke jitu question solve korilu this is placed under the heading called subject and verb agreement so we will see some more of this kind of grammatical trivia in the upcoming part of this class hello dear students has learning a new thing become boring for you well here is a good news presenting edu8 well learning is no more boring but free interactive video lessons and live classes presented by experienced and friendly educators improve your knowledge with unlimited tests practices and detailed progress report of your studies connect your friends and play live quiz and cool games share notes and your progress too so that you can learn and grow together with edu8 now with 100% money back guarantee download now to grab the exciting offers now let's see another of this kind where sometimes we make error in identifying the problem in a sentence so let's have a sentence before we uh, discuss that the sentence says the actor along part 1 with his bodyguards has part 2 arrived in the function that is part 3 and we have another part called no error that is part 4 like the one we did just a while ago so of similar kind of uh, problem what it says one sentence have been divided into four categories where one of them may contain error or it may be perfectly all right as well so let's see the sentence again how to approach a question like that the actor along with his bodyguards have arrived in the function no error now the prime focus in the sentence if you read it closely who is the subject some might say that there is actor and there is his bodyguards so if you give priority to both of them the sentence look quite perfect quite ओके इज ऑल राइट बिकज एक्टरों से बडिगार्डसो आंड बडिगार्डस मोर देन वन सो इट हेज टू वि हेव बट जस्ट अ ग्रामेटिकल एवेरनेस दैट उ नीड टू हेव इज दैट द सेंटेन्स हि द रटर हेज नट यूज द कंजांगशन एंड मन करते एंड यूज करना द रटर हेज नट से actor and his bodyguards if we should have joined the sentence with and then we should have given priority to both of them mo jodi kolu hetan the actor and his bodyguards tete hole amar subject to plural or hole hetan then the subject will be in the plural form but here the writer has used the expression along with just a thing to remember that whenever we join at a kholu note share korisu tomalokor logot if we join a singular subject if we join a singular subject 
with the help of these following words with the help of these following words say like as well as along with together with together with besides in addition to etc all these words all these words grammar e koi ase ei khini word ok jodi ami eta singular subject er logot join koru all these words create a segment in grammar that is known as parenthesis ei ki ta word e sentence or eta parenthesis create kore what is a parenthesis a parenthesis mean a part of less importance a part of less importance a part to importance to come now ei sentence to pori ami eneke kobo noaru ki ami actor to important dim karon te actor but that's the word that's the word along with that will determine that who has been given priority by the subject by the sentence kak ami gurutto disu the priority has been given to the actor how do we know ami gom kene ke palu yat to kono dhoronor belek clue amak diya nai we learn by virtue of the connecting word the two word yate use korise that says along with meaning the priority has been given to the actor so actor is what kind of subject actor is a singular subject subject is in singular form hence the verb cannot be followed by have it has to be corrected as has arrived the actor along with his bodyguards has arrived because কনফিউজ নহবা বডিগার্ডস আছে হয় কিন্তু বডিগার্ডসর আগত যে ওয়ার্ড আছে এলং উইথ যদি আমি এলং উইথের সিঙ্গুলার সাবজেক্ট এটা জয়েন করো ইট ক্রিয়েটস আ প্যারেন্থেসি দ্যাট মিন্স আ পার্ট অফ লেস ইম্পর্টেন্স ইম্পর্টেন্স দিস পার্ট এলং উইথ হিজ বডিগার্ডস ইজ দ্য প্যারেন্থেসি হ্যান্ডস দিস পার্ট ইজ অফ লেস ইম্পর্টেন্স উই হ্যাভ টু গিভ প্রায়োরিটি টু দ্য অ্যাক্ট অ্যাক্টর ইজ ওয়ান দ্যাটস ওয়াই দ্য answer has to be error part has to be the second part of the sentence is erroneous hope you have understood this grammatical uh, norms and rules and regulations that have been discussed if you have any doubts please go to the comment section and ask your doubts and do subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching